Well, I'm being joined in the studio by a public health expert, Dr. Tui Mebawandu. It's good to have you join us. Thank you. This is the first time in history I've ever gotten your name without making mistakes. Yeah, you're I deserve improving. something. You're improving. You don't have that strength. <laughs> Okay. So, of, of course, the first question is, what is gastroenteritis? In fact, when I saw it, I was saying gastroentities. What, what is that? Um, just a simple medical word. Gastro means stomach. Enter, enteric or enteritis means uh, intestine. So it's an inflammation of the intestine caused by either virus, bacteria, or parasite, leading to vomiting and stooling. So simply it's like intestinal flu, mm -hmm. where the person loses a lot of water and uh, by stooling, by frequent stooling, and then vomiting. So that is the simplest way you can put uh, what gastroenteritis is. Like I said, caused by germs, you know, um, which can be bacteria, it can be viral, and can also be parasites. So there have been 117 confirmed reports. Germs, I mean, the first thing you're taught in primary school is to wash your hands and wash them thoroughly. In fact, thank, I, won't, I won't say thank God for Ebola, but when Ebola came, there was an emphasis on, you know, washing your hands over and over again. I mean, I think it's normal because whenever I, I go home from wherever, I wash my hands before I touch anything in my house. So in the 21st century, should we be experiencing this kind of outbreak? Permit my again, ignorance. Again, um... It's a big embarrassment uh, because gastroenteritis essentially is a water sanitation and hygiene disease. Whenever you have problem with water supply, sanitation and hygiene in any community, you are bound to have um, gastroenteritis. Well, let's, let's come down, look at Lagos. Um, what, what is the state of water supply in Lagos? Do we have portable water? Do we have public water supply? Everybody has to resort to borehole and try to treat their water even by uh, such a water or you know bottled water to, to use. So water usage in Lagos is far, far below 20% coverage and with just three big water works that are really comatose. The Lagos water plan should be trashed completely because they have Lagos State Water Supply Plan, you know, which they projected to 2020 to supply certain quantity Whatever of water. Whatever happened to it? It's not working. By the, by the time they now criminalize alternative water supply, the, the, the whole process mess, got messed up. Because you've not provided water supply, you are criminalizing the one that people are used to, to store water. I, I mean, then, the reason why people decided to resort to those alternatives is because, because there was no, no water. water so supply. criminalizing it would be, bring a rise in cases such as this. And then, secondly, um, at, at the public health uh, department of the Ministry of Health is not dispensing information concerning the risk of you know um, even flooding because we tend to look at materials lots of materials during flooding but when we also forget that a lot of germs comes with flooding and then what you need to do how to treat your water source immediately after flooding these are critical information that the government should have supplied to the people then secondly look at the state of sanitation in lagos okay or even in nigeria as it were wait a minute we're having where the second largest country, we were, like, we were the country with the second largest number of open defecation. Okay? How do you think that we're not going to get contamination of the water supply? How do you think we're not going to get gastroenteritis? Now, we're home to as much as 40 million people who are malnourished, especially children who are malnourished. How do they evoke response to germs? So it's, it's, a, it's a huge challenge. And then when you now get to the, you, go, you drive around Lagos, you see mountains, mountains of waste. Dog is there feeding, chicken is feeding there, rat is feeding, um, even pigs and cows are feeding. Those things will feed and then move around with human beings. Jams will jump to human beings. So again, as long as you have this neglect of water, sanitation, and hygiene, and we're not having portable water supply in, a, in this country, because you cannot drink from any public tap, Growing up in this Lagos, the rural oh, Lagos. you can't. Yeah, in, in rural Lagos, growing up in rural Lagos, we had public water supply in Nigeria, where, where I grew up. So, but now, what do we have? Nothing. You just have to dig borehole or even source your water from an open source and then think of how to clean it. So, let's, let's talk about solutions quickly. I, I, I'm thinking about it. If someone catches this disease or is exposed to it, because, I mean, we have 400 cases recorded, 
how do you, where do you start from to remedy it? Before we get to the part where government has neglected its duties, but let's talk about us, the people now. Is there, is there the much needed awareness out there by the public health department or the Ministry of Health? Because we would not know if the Ministry of Health does not educate us. Now again, the, uh, the commissioner, the honorable commissioner, has done the first step by uh, by telling people that wait a minute, there's a an epidemic of gastroenteritis going on in, the, in Lagos State, and mentioned the local government, mentioned the situation report. Now, uh, for me, the point, the best thing in this country is that you must be able to take charge of your health. I mean, your personal health by embracing personal hygiene. If when one falls so sick in this country, you are probably on your own, okay? Because one, you are not sure that you have the sufficient human resources to deal with your challenge. Secondly, the cost is another problem. Thirdly, the response time is another issue. So the best thing actually is for us to embrace personal hygiene and safety. What do I do? Now, of course, simple hand wash is a lot. It means a lot to you. Um, because, you know, and then the source of your food supply and water supply. Um, the, the clear cutting is that if you have to drink water, you know, it may be it may, a, 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 a bit cooler, some, but you need to boil the water simply. If you are not sure, especially after flooding, you are not sure of the source of the water, you know, you know, boil it for everybody, just boil it. You know, there's a safeguard, what we call safeguard, every house, mm -hmm. household should have it mm -hmm. and drop it with drinking water. Then if you have to eat fruits, you need to wash it properly. So the first thing is for every degotion to embrace that, um, you know, hygiene, basic hygiene. Now, you, can, you mustn't go to the toilet and then come back and start eating. You need to wash your hands. You must not go out and come back and just touch food. You need to wash your hands. So basic hand wash can do a lot in preventing gas. Is this, this, this is transferable? Because quickly, we, have, we don't have time. Can this disease be transferred from one person to the other just by shaking yes. hands? Or? Yeah, you see, absolutely. You know, this is a fecal aura, or what do you call oral fecal disease. Somebody contaminates a source of water or a source of food supply, and then the thing gets into the mouth oh and dear. then causes the problem. And we don't know where our so, food is coming from because yes. you see, most of the food that we end up eating are displayed open. That is another issue. So again, that, that's the area the government needs to really um, uh, talk about. Most of this food, you see them by the roadside. People are selling akara, selling this on the roadside. Oh you, put, you put jam, most of those jams, you know, it's, it's raised up by the dust or even after water, water flooding after drying out water, raise them up and then drop on the food and people now buy those food and eat. We need to be serious about that. And then, I mean, you know, serious public education has become so important. We cannot just keep doing firefighting or knee jack approach, creating emergency operation centers because we want to ensure sanitation. You need to, if you don't clean your city, you get gastroenteritis. Simple. All right. Thank you very much, Dr. Tui, for speaking with us. Uh, this is like the scariest thing I've had this month, but uh, we'll move on.